And hello everyone, welcome back, uh, it's 2015 now, I'd like to wish you all a uh, happy new year a little bit late. Well anyway, long time since I've seen you now, Scrollgers, I've been, uh, I have not been home, so I'm sorry for not playing, though, I will try and catch up, I, to be honest, I actually don't remember what I did last time, I was in the arena, well, obviously I was in the arena because the trials, ah, trials, I guess it was trials. Uh, anyway, single player, I was going to take, um, finish off these, I was thinking. Thinking strategically is something I really need to learn, so learn about the basic strategies and positioning in this practice match, as well as board control, prioritizing units over idols, and the importance of sacrificing. I really don't like sacrificing. You know, when I'm playing Minecraft, I'm like, I don't sacrifice anything. Uh, when I had trash, like tons of dirt, cobblestone, I just keep it in the chest and never actually use it. Maybe, you know, I'm thinking I'm like saving for something that I'm never actually gonna make anyway. So, um, sacrificing is something I'm not good at at all. Well, anyway, if this tutorial is about stra stra strategically thinking, uh, controlling the board, and I have to sacrifice, and it even says it's important, then I guess I'll just have to give it a try, and yeah, let's just play this tutorial. So it's my turn. Uh, start by t trying to take control of the middle row. Controlling the middle row gives you board control. To do that I have to throw out something that I don't, don't actually need. That's haste. That's good. I don't have haste on that one. A spell. That can be useful. It's also good to use for spell. I'm just Sacrifice this for now, place this down, and yeah. That's all I can do now. Attack. Opponent's sure, okay. So you can do, he's gonna give me a raider, he is going to attack. He's going to attack me, so yeah, I gotta do something. Sacrifice, I don't need any more resources currently. Is it beast rat? Wait a few turns and just get started. Places even more raiders. I wonder what he's thinking. The same as me, I guess. Uh, I want to place on a nog. Creatures can't have all of those. That would be really cool. Till end of turn. That's not actually anything. Get rid of that one. Got the nog. Place the knob. Check units before idle to help me board control, that's great. It's gonna be half my life, so. Oh no, come on. <laughs> that's ridiculous. He has a structure and he. Well, could you like not do that? So now I'll have to do this. Dead. That one is going to. He's just going to keep. Uh, nog. It's a good thing, but I need to. I need more cards. Nog. Can I place a nog strategically? Always sacrifice until you need scrolls. <clears throat> and then try to balance it. I should have seen that before, I guess. So I don't have enough breeze. I don't. I'll have sacrifice for resources. Not that one. These guys are going to attack, that one's going to attack. None of those are going to attack yet, so yeah. So the hell. Just take this one. Maybe it's good. Continue. And here we go. It's starting to. Things are going my way, that's good. Only start hitting idols when you're not threatened by your opponent's units. 
These guys can move. I won't do much. Whoa. Hey man, what's up? Sell that guy. This one died, I'm gonna place that one there instead. For now I'm gonna place down this one. Structure for the safe. Using another level of attack, so yeah, that guy's, that guy's gonna die. I still need scrolls now. Okay, there's something about Tootsie, you know? I'm not just when he's playing, it just plays down a lot of, of useless contraptions. Why don't I have useless contraptions? I need useless contra- I need useless contraptions. It's kinda... Kinda interesting. Units you control have their countdown decreased by two. I'll do that next round or something. More scrolls. Junkyard rats. Hey, I have one rat. And I don't know if that's gonna help me any much, but yeah. I feel like it wants this guy. I need to protect. Continue. I destroyed this contraption. Alright, oh, so he's gonna try that one. Bear Paw and Chandra in the gets plus attack and plus two health, and Bear Paw comes to play. Chandra in its count and is decreased, is increased by one. It's quite dumb. it's quite 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 powerful. There's an enchantment, uh, uh, I really want this one. Cast now everyone's gonna storm ahead and I may do maybe I'll even end up winning, that would that would be really cool. One idol is down. All enemies are down. This is ridiculous. They all attack at the same time. I should have thrown that spell, cast it. So. My turn. Enchanted unit gets plus two attack. What about plus two attack? And plus two health. So throw it. Guy. So, you know, I'll, I'll sell this one. I don't I'm just sacrifice him. Do the same thing. So place this one down. Try to defend my position. This guy. I don't. I get threatened by any of those. Destroyed. This guy's crazy. He is going to attack me right now, so it's wonderful little creature of the beast. I can trade that one for resources. It's relentless. I like relentless relentless things. Oh seven attack, that's the most powerful unit I have. Should move those guys. Scrolls, this guy. Oh, he's doing that approach. Seriously, I'm gonna win. There's no doubt I'm gonna win this thing. This attack is wasted. I don't need to do that. And then this one down. Strategy is important. Get another one anyway. I've got resources, but I don't think that really matters too much now. So I won anyway. And yeah, that's about it. Um, I won match info. I, re I know I'm really boring. This guy doesn't use any time at all. 5 minutes 52 seconds. 11 units played both of us. And that's pretty cool. Now, okay, lead match. Uh, win 10 matches. Uh, so just two tutorials left. I think I'm going to play through these, uh, these two in this episode. And... Once I finish these two, I can start doing some uh, challenges like multiplayer and playing against players. So, these are the final two tutorials. Lingering spells, learn about the basics of lingering spells in this practice match. Stay active during their countdown. Oh, interesting. 
Play tutorial. Spell lingering. Uh, running. So, hello, I'm Enrich Todek with three lingering spells and called Clandestine Orchid. Three. No, you haven't. You, you have made two. You only two here. I see that's one and that's one. So, exactly what are you doing right now? Uh, I'll get rid of that one because I won't have a chance. Getting it. Something I want to try it out. Yeah, it starts. Boom! Four hearts left. Greylock Raider. Of course, he loves Greylock Ra Grey Raiders. Uh, when a uh, so what does this guy do? When a creature comes into play, another random creature on the same side has its countdown decreased by one. Oh, uh, so that's pretty. That's going to be pretty useful. Cast. Lasts for a while. That's what lingering is all about, isn't it? Soon I am really going to need some scrolls. This isn't, isn't looking very good. Nug! Some, some of those. Get some awesome things. This guy's more health. Place it down. It already has zero countdown, so the it doesn't really matter, I guess. Lingering spells remain for a number of turns while affecting the game rules. There is a of icon in the top of the screen. Oh, I saw that already. So, what else can I do? There's a really cool. Whoa. Resources can take this guy. Right there. He can do things, and I don't like that. Just start. Okay. Oh, wait. He's gonna attack my idols. No, oh, he didn't attack my idols. That's pretty weird. Um, Mangy Wolf. Sounds cool. Three attack. I am so dead. This guy is also... Yeah, so a few scrolls. Two D sacrifices. What's with this guy? Is he undead or something? What kind of thing is that? I don't even know what that symbol's about. I guess I'll learn that at some later point. I can do some pretty cool things. Does that really matter? Seriously, if I place this guy, that one, burn it, sacrifice one of those for resources, and I can like that. Another one, and essentially, these are uh, reduced. That one is reduced to. Hey, that was actually lucky, I think. Play the same Langrick spell and it will remain active for a longer time. It won't become more powerful though. CIL. Oh, that hurt. hurt. Really bad. Good. Scrolls are definitely more scrolls. I don't have any units left. So I can like totally OP this guy. Six attack. And cast lingering once again. I can't sacrifice anything else. Oh hey, there's another unit. He found his way into another kit, so yeah. What do I do? How did I not see that coming? Ragged Wolf. These guys are problematic right now. It's way more powerful than the other one. Another one just attacks, so I will put it there. For now, he's going to kill that guy.
What's with Greylock Raiders, okay? What are- what is Greylock Raider at all? I mean, I am totally confused about what Greylock Raiders are for. Their entire purpose of this game. Uh, should I do that? Oh, that guy, so I have two really powerful units. Just to protect him. It's crazy. Rats, I don't have any rats. Forgetting rats, I can use a structure. What's crazy about structures, if all of those die, then yeah, I have a structure. I've completely lost count of how many Gravelock Raiders this guy has spawned. There's this guy. See, he's totally gonna move. See, I should have placed it up there. That seems to be the last line of defense. There, there's another lingering spell. I'm just gonna play there. That guy could be used more efficiently, but anyway. I'm gonna destroy some things. He isn't relentless. I should do that instead. Destroy that aisle. A nog? No, another nog. How many nogs can I do? Take that, I'll place one there just to defend myself and... Oh, this is actually pretty difficult. And that's completely pointless because I didn't see that the elf guy was going to attack. should have realized something was up. Junkyard, we need a junkyard, no, I don't need a junkyard. Sacrifice for resources, and I can have great wolves, great wolves. Do some really cool things. That one, which one's it gonna be? Yeah. I saw that. Whoa, I think I'm gonna win if I, if I just place that one there. At some point I'll get rid of his, um, these things. I don't need that. this guy. I'm just doing things, I don't really know what I'm doing. And destroying all these all his opponents. Or all, all his opponents, that doesn't make sense. And destroying his units. So that's uh, I I am really I'm not good at making that play, sorry. Kinfolk brave, okay I am messing up once again. Pretty sure I won't need anything now. I'm gonna win anyway. No, I'm not. Destroy him. This is definitely an advantage of having many many units. Okay, now I'm gonna win. Seven attack versus three units idle. Oh, and he's relentless. I should have should have remembered that. Doesn't matter much anyway. The many opponents' lingering spells may affect your actions. So I just help this guy for every unit that I place down. So he had a chance of getting. This isn't fair. Seriously, this isn't fair. I'm gonna leave this match and I'm gonna play the last tutorial, the multi resources.
Then about multi-resource decks and the wild resource in this. Oh, the wild resource is my resource. Multi-resource decks. That's kind of cool. Let's match. Oh, no, wait, wait. I'm growth wild is something else. So tutorial details. Destroy three of your opponent's idols to win. Hundred go and then play the tutorial. My turn. I mixed some order scrolls, so you can now sacrifice for growth and order. Oh. That was literally pointless. That was literally pointless, I shouldn't have done that, I should have sacrificed it for that one instead. Just to make him a little bit more powerful. That's pretty cool. You like multiple currencies, sort of. Um, okay, I'm not good at this. I. Huh. I totally admit that I am not good at this game. Oh, oh, it's freeing me. It's a weakling. That guy deserves it. He's gonna attack me now. The icon on the right is called Wild. Wild can be used as any resource present in your game. You can start sacrificing Wild once you sacrifice for both growth and order. I won't do that yet, I need some. I'm not supposed to like control the middle row. Focus, targets. No, what? Plus three attack until end of turn. Until end of turn. Is there anything that's going to attack? No, there's not. I don't want to waste my scrolls. I knew I was going to do that. Desperate need some defense down here. They're gonna attack now. None of those are actually relentless, but plus the attack. You know that that aisle is gonna be destroyed. I don't really know. Wait, my guess. Damn, his idol broke. So you can use wild as any resource, it's usually worth sacrificing for it when you. Oh. I don't think that was a good idea. Useless contraptions. I hate useless contraptions. Why don't I have a useless contraption? It doesn't it doesn't do anything. It's just, just on the same row. I really need more scrolls. Sorry about that. This guy down here. down here as well. I 
Okay, this is actually getting kind of hard, you know. Multiple currencies, if you wish. Uh, to be sure, this is extremely confusing too. If I sacrifice this guy for a while, because I won't need him, then I can take this guy. I know I get some special effects in it because I can, I can summon a wolf. I can do it right now though. I think it's like a wild bit more often. It's great to order. Oh. This is a challenge. A real challenge indeed. My turn. Bet this tower of mine is going to go down. Not until I beat him though. Ragged wolf. I don't need that. I'm utterly confused by some aspects of this game. And there's so much to learn, I mean the le the learning curve is so steep. I'm almost having trouble with this. Oh! Why didn't I know that before now? Okay, it actually gives me help. Could learn some interesting things. play instead of pretending like I know this game because I don't okay that's that's scary that's literally scary that's absolutely frightening this guy here has five attack uh, he has four health though so I will send this guy out for someone else first to take care of him I wonder what's actually going to happen if I run out of scrolls. Taste. Taste. And win. I'm not good at scrolls. This is confusing. So yeah, why not just create, why not create your own multi-resource that can take it online? Yeah, I can take it out. 
Oh, it was the last one. Yeah, the last Detroit I'll say sorry, this match was really boring. Sorry for this really, really boring episode. I will try to make it more interesting, uh, more interesting next episode. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. It's really appreciated. Uh, change this. All oh, achievements. Then it went 20 matches. Uh, get the first judgment deck. Perform a successful trade with another player. Uh, complete your first trial. Play your first rank match. 10 pack of scrolls from the store. Single random scrolls for specific. You know. Just sort of be. Just sort of do something. Energy, decay, order, and growth. We're gonna go to the black market. Can't find something. Draw one scroll. This girl, you know, no, the sister is okay. Anyway, I'm so messing up. Uh, sister, I already own two of them. I haven't ever, ever actually seen them before. Uh, increase growth by I don't know what a pillage. Show you one this unit deals combat damage to idol. Increase growth by one. Vengeful Vayeter is dealt one. Pure damage. Not so cute anymore. It's totally not cute. No, what are all these things? I don't own any of those. I only own growth. Should probably buy some. Buy some. Sell scrolls. Yeah, I can trade. Store. Just for you, fate blessing. Control down, control better and leech. What's that? Why is 24 hours from now? Oh yeah, okay. Deal 8 magic damage. First and that's like grow, you know. Reconstruct the fields. 50 energy scrolls. Oh right, I was gonna get some new scrolls of different types and I can like Mix growth. Mix growth in order. It's so expensive. Whatever. Sanctuary the Lost Spell Lightning. No, it's been a lingering. And those creatures have ward. It's ward. Magic resistance. Kill. It's like Christmas gifts, you know. Slimmer's opponent controls any humans. It has relentless and has plus three attacks. Attack. Whoa! So if they are humans on the other side, then this guy has relentless and is really, really powerful. I like that. 
So yeah, I am pretty sure that this is as rare when a creature you control is destroyed the opposing idol on that row. Got one damage. Which come in handy. Totem of suffering. I don't know what shards are. Figure it out next time. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. This has been a very long episode. I really appreciate that you took your time to just, you know, come over to my channel. And I'll see you in, uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching guys, and see ya.